Today I will show you how to install Plum Sale Forms for SharePoint. First we click Start Trial and register a new Plum Sale account. You enter your name, your email, password and click Create Account. Now, inside you go to Forms, and now you need to download Form Web Part. This web part has to be uploaded to App Catalog in your Office 365. Go to Admin Center, here you need to navigate to SharePoint Admin Center. Click Apps on the left. App Catalog here. If this is your first time, you'll need to create a new App Catalog. Give it any title you feel like. Address, select language, time zone, etc. Once it's ready, it will need some time to finalize the creation. Here it is created. Go to Apps once again, click App Catalog, and it will open your new App Catalog site. Click Distribute Apps for SharePoint. Upload the downloaded web part and make the solution available to all sites in the organization. Now we can go to the next step and add an Office 365 tenant to PlumSale account. Go to Licenses page, add tenant, and enter your SharePoint domain here. Just like this. No need to add HTTP or anything else. Click Grant Permissions. Now you'll need to log in as a global admin and accept the permissions for the app. Finally, you need to install Form Designer to design forms for your site. Once you install it, go to SharePoint here, enter or select your site URL, connect, here we have an example list. We'll be working with it and customizing it. We select example list here and click start. This will open the example list in the designer. All the columns are available under SharePoint fields. These are fields created from list columns and all the data that is entered by the user once the form is saved is automatically sent to SharePoint. I also add a tab container to our form because I want to split form into parts. Shipment details Let's stretch the container and I also want to have attachments here separately. I drop the attachments field and I add the remaining fields to the shipment details. I do not need content types so let's leave it there and I will save all three forms but you don't have to save all three of them, it's just to save time. Be very careful not to overwrite existing forms when you save free forms. Once it says the layout has been saved, we can open it here. But as you can see, it's a default form. You just need to refresh the page. 
and when you click new you'll be redirected to the newly created form let's see here it is looks quite good but I don't like how some titles are taking more space so I'll change orientation here for these ones to be vertical so they're all in one line and I also can just increase the length here for example 200 pixels maybe that's too much mm, something like 150 or maybe 160 will do I'll apply it to all the fields for consistency and now I'll re-save the forms once again it's important to wait for the message that layout has been saved otherwise you won't see the changes in SharePoint here it is I go back and now just refresh the page And as you can see, the changes has, have applied. And it looks pretty neat. Another feature I want to show you is form panel, which you can enable here. Once the menu opens, you can turn it on and select what forms you want to open in a panel. I'll just save it for a new form. We go back, we refresh the page once again. And when we click new, once it's loaded, okay, the page is loaded, so we click new, and here, as you can see, it's opened in a panel. I hope this video has helped you, and I uh, hope you enjoy using forms for customizing your own modern UI experience. We'll continue creating videos and new materials for you. And we'll continue updating the product, so stay tuned for more, and until next time.